What's up, nerds? I'm Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome to the finale of... You know what? Let's switch screens here. Nope. Like this. The finale of The Assembler with... I think I can say pretty much my favorite DS game of all time. At least one of them. It's just... It's just amazing. This is J Stars Ultimate. No. Shonen Jumps Ultimate Stars. That's it. This is the sequel to Shonen Jumps Superstars or something like that. I've never played Superstars and I've only played Ultimate Stars because I ages ago found a English patch for it. And because this game never came out in the West. And it's a shame. Now, again, I've got an English uh, patch for it, and not everything is completely translated. But in case you haven't noticed, noticed it's a Shonen Jump game. And Shonen Jump, for everyone who's not, who doesn't know what that means, Shonen Jump is the um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a place where all your favorite anime characters are from, like uh, Naruto, like uh, Luffy, like Son Goku, and stuff like that. Like all the mangas and ma uh, animes that you know, or all of, not all of them, of course, but most of the most well-known mangas and animes are published. Publisher, that's it. It's the publisher of many, many, many fan favorites. Now, this one I have already started. I started the game up yesterday because it has a mandatory tutorial, which is just boring. That's pretty much it. Now, let me tell you, this game is basically, and I'm gonna show you in a second, this game is basically what if shonen characters and Super Smash Bros. That's pretty much it. And we're gonna start. I th it has some kind of story that I completely forgot again, but it's some kind of yeah the the J galaxies like the jump galaxies are all now basically converging, and you have to fight as different characters against different characters. Now you begin. We can go back to Earth. This is where it starts, and that is just Planet Earth and the asteroid. These are just tutorials, and they are like. Move with the arrow, uh, with the arrow buttons, basically. Do it now. Then you do it, and it's like, great! Puts you out of the game, basically, to show you a screen of, you did it! And then you choose the next tutorial, go in, have to do basic attacks. Yay, you did it! Back out of the game, stuff like that. It's just, it's annoying. It's, it's not too long, but I just, I don't wanna. I just don't wanna. Now, in the beginning, we can choose. Do we want to go to the De Demoniac Galaxy, Adventure Galaxy, or Fighter Galaxy? Demoniac Galaxy... Maybe it's supposed to ca be called Demonic Galaxy, I don't know. Um, has the manga Majin Tante Nogami Nero. Nero? Whatever. Never heard of it before. Um, but whatever. D. Gray Man. Really like that. It's a weird one, but I like it. And Muhio and Roji's Bureau. I started reading that one, but the app I was using glitched out and I never really read it. Adventure Galaxy has One Piece, Hunter x Hunter and Black Cat. And the Fighter Galaxy has, of course, Dragon Ball, Saint Seiya and Roku Nashi Blues. I'm gonna start with the Man for a simple reason. Now, here you get a little overview, a few manga panels, it's just... This game is just incredibly well made. And there have been games kinda like it, like uh, J Star's Victory for PS3 and such. And the recent, more or less recent Shonen Jump. What was it called? Shonen Jump? Jump Force? I think it was just called Jump Force, which was weird. But let's jump into this. Now, there are different game mode. Uh, and one of them is the J-Symbol match. This 
you're gonna see in a second. Like, it's it's just different ways of winning. It says here, yeah, collect all J symbols, catch them when they appear, or steal them by KOing. Now, I'm gonna explain everything sooner or later. Let's just jump in. We'll take the beginning deck. Basically, this is the only one you have right now. I'm gonna show you about decks as well. Like, I'm gonna show you everything. Everything. I'm gonna show you some stuff, don't worry. But we are Luffy. We have incredible sprite work. Like, absolutely incredible sprite work. They just... It looks incredible. It plays incredible. You have... You have uh, weak attacks or regular attacks. This... Uh, this field is... as basically ice physics. It sucks, but hey, whatever. Regular attack, stronger attack, and special attack. For the special attacks... Oh, wait, they got destroyed, so the J symbols appear somewhere now. Where's the next one? Over here, and we won. <laughs> it's that easy sometimes. <laughs> Alright, now. Again, there's gonna be a lot of stuff all at once. You have, every single time you have the objective, clear the stage. If you do that, great, you did it. And then there are bonus objectives that you only unlock once, like either if you do it, like we did, or if you win the first one, then you unlock the second one and know what it is. And if you unlock that, then you unlock the third one. Or if you just can't do it without knowing what it is, great. It's often, very often, it's like win in this many seconds, win with this many points, stuff like that. So we unlocked some comas and some of this. This is basically the currency that we need to do stuff. I'm gonna show you, don't worry about it. This also, I mean, right now it's a bit obscured, but here, this one is a face, which means we get specific characters. Same here, same here, same here. This one is just shapes, which means we get these things. Again, don't worry about it if you don't get it. It's It took me ages to actually completely figure the game out. Let's jump into it. Wait, I think I need to get out here first. Go here. I totally remember. Yeah, okay. These are all characters from different games. Gintoki is from Gintama, as you can see here. Uh, Ellen from d -Greyman. He's the main character. Lena Lee or Rina Lee, depending on who you ask, from the Grimman. Kanda, from the Grimman. River, from the Grimman. We got Goku, we got Naruto, we got Muhio from... I keep forgetting, Muhio and Roji's Bureau. And Luffy. These are, like, the ones we have so far. Now, each one of these things, they are called Komas, we unlocked some of them, can be... Uh, can be, uh, what do we call it? Upgraded, basically. With Luffy, you have three upgrade paths. This one just give you gave you background music. Doesn't really matter. Red means playable character. Blue means support character. I'm gonna show you in the next match. And this one would be if we go this route, we would unlock a different Luffy, like a different version of Luffy, to play as. And maybe if we unlock this one, then there will be a next one with a different Luffy. With Luffy, I'm pretty sure there are like three or four different ones. Same with this. We got support character Luffy, which is this panel. We got playable Luffy, which is this panel. And that's the exact same thing for everyone else. And depending on like the cost of this, you can more or less see what it will be. This one is, I think, playable character. And since we have the gems, we need 200 of the green ones and 15 of the white ones, we can unlock it. It's red, it's a playable character. <laughs> and I just love it, it's just actual uh, manga panels. It's not like they drawn anything new for this game, it's just actually regular manga characters. Now, why I started with the Grey Man is because I really want Ellen and I want Lena Lee. They are incredible characters. I love playing them. Now, 
Don't worry, I'll jump back in <laughs> in a second. First, let's see, we can edit the deck. I th think it was the first one. Yeah. We're not gonna start a new deck because we don't really have the most uh, things. Now, each character, like we have two different Goku things, the green one and the blue one. Blue is support character, red is a uh, playable character, like red is big, it's playable, blue is support, and green is just there, basically. Like this one supports Luffy, which means Luffy is a bit stronger. This one supports Naruto, which means Naruto is a bit stronger. There is nothing to do with these, you just have them in your deck, that's pretty much it. Now, we got Muhio, which also means... Wait, how do we do this again? Ah, damn it. No! Don't worry. Oh, damn it. I, I, I got it. Don't worry. Nope. Wrong. Nope. Wrong. Okay, again. This is Japanese. Most of, uh, or many of these things are... No, I don't want to retry. This one? Yeah. Much of it is Japanese, which just means I have to basically guess. Now we're gonna take this guy out of the deck so that we can use him. Because you can only have one of a specific character. You gotta put him here. Thing is, you activate these, like you switch characters with the touch screen. Which is a bit weird while playing with the mouse, but whatever. You can also assign L and R, so this one is with L, this one is with R, stuff like that, you know. Okay, um, do we have any other characters? Yeah, but nothing useful. So let's just put L in there, let him help Luffy basically, Lena Lee for Muhio. Because again, it it's technically makes him stronger, I think. And River. I just don't know how, like, the game never explains how, it's just... You want to save? Yes. It's just, they are support characters. Whatever. Okay. Let's jump back in, do the doppelganger battle. Which... Points battle... Point battle against your own deck, within time limit. You get points by knocking out the enemy characters, or knocking them out of the stage. Alright, we'll take this deck, of course. And... I'm just gonna fight, have fun, you know what? Let's use Muhio. I if I remember correctly, he was interesting to Yeah. He has various various amounts of different uh weird uh summoning things. Oh, like this one. I shoot him out. Interesting. Hey sure. Now again you have weak attack. You have stronger attack, and then you have special attack. Of course, special attacks do the most damage. Okay, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm Naruto now. He's just... He's also one of the str strongest characters, in my opinion. And one of the easiest to play as. By the way, let's see if we can... Yeah, we can destroy the manga... Uh, the, the screen, basically. And can kick the enemy out, which nets us points. How did we... Yeah, like so. With some attacks, it's easy, like this one. Shoot him out, one point for us. If you die, you lose one point. KO this one, lose a point. And we are in the lead. I'm doing a terrible, terrible job explaining the game. Oh, nice. We got clear the stage and make a special KO, a special attack KO, which we did. We also got some points for that, not a whole lot. If we had done this one or this one we would get more points to then unlock more characters like you unlock characters and you unlock points to upgrade the characters to actually use them if we go in now finish with at least three points we can do that i think after this fight i'm just gonna go to a different uh galaxy okay we wanna there are some cheese strategies, basically, some ways to completely dominate on the battlefield. But we don't really care for that too much. Like, I usually I try and finish a regular battle uh, in the regular way. 
And afterwards, I take a look at... Oh, damn it! I used Goku without wanting to win. Um, I need... To, yeah, and if I wanna get the special part... Oh, oh, this one is good! If we can hit both of them at the same time, we didn't hit any one of them. That sucks. Stay there. Luffy, stay there. Okay, Luffy is out. No, he's not out. But he should be soon. Oh, Naruto is KO'd by the other enemy. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna win this one. We're actually gonna lose this one, as it seems, because we are points behind. Okay, kick this one out, basically. Try it again. You can't use your specials indefinitely. Uh, below my yellow... Damn it. Below the yellow health bar. Yeah, that sucks. Below the yellow health bar, you have a blue spirit bar. And you need at least one full bar of the spirit bar to use your special attacks. Okay, we're gonna go to something people know and love. Dragon Ball. And it's just different fights in different galaxies. Once we're done with these galaxies, with all of them, at least one in each of them, we don't have to unlock all of the special missions or whatever. If you're done with all of them, you get the next few galaxies. And it just gives you more and more galaxies. I can't remember how many there are, but it's a lot. Trust me, there are a lot of characters. And this galaxy or this fight is good because here you get points for uh, upgrading, here you get points for upgrading, here you get a new character, and here you also get points for upgrading. So we're just gonna use this one. By the way, Muhio, the one we upgraded to be a playable character, I really can't play with him, as you might have seen. Like I really don't feel equipped at all. Oh my goodness, Gotenks is in the game. I wasn't aware. I've played this game so many times and I have never ever unlocked all the characters. Like, there are so many. Luffy, still one of the greatest in the game. Like, I love Luffy in general. But as a character, he is just... He's just easy. Easy to play, easy to pick up. He has great attacks. I shouldn't just use the same attack over and over. I know. You know what? Goku, help me out here. Thank you. Yeah, that's a support character, like a in-game support. Okay, you know what? Let's try this again. Damn it! I just want to do a big Rasengan. Come on. Yeah, that should do some damage. Let's do it again. Okay, knocked out two people. Two people at once. Someone else knocked someone else out. I know I'm cheesing it right now, and I said I didn't want to do that. Oh! Killed him without cheesing. That's... Another point for us, we're doing good. We have a lot of points. Uh, we're gonna switch character now. Just because each character has their own health bar, is the thing. This game is frantic, but this game is so good. Oh my goodness, we did it. Okay, we got a whole lot of points. We got trunks, we got a whole lot of more points. That's awesome. Death match. Ooh, that's just, if you're dead, you're dead. Be the last J hero standing, hold that KO'd means defeat. Which means the more he heroes you have, or the more characters, the better. Though, we're gonna talk about having multiple heroes or characters in the deck next time I'm actually building a deck, basically. By the way, you can do up and attack, uh, side and attack, down and attack, it's all different attacks. Which is just awesome, in my opinion. Like, in, in many fighting games that, like, let's call some of them wannabe Smash Brothers. Oh, someone lost a character. And some, oh no, not gonna take that. That one uh, switches around your... Nice. <clears throat> the mushroom switches around your control scheme for a second. Coins just give you points, I think? Food heals you, and if you get, like, the red Japanese symbols, it's the red symbols that you earn to upgrade stuff. Same with green, same with yellow. No, we lost Luffy. Sheet. Okay, where are we? Where are you go, thanks. Like, the... what's it called? Like, the screen real estate. How much you see on screen is, of course, 
limited because it's a DS game. But on the other hand, like, you, they do a great job in... Awesome. They do a great job in showing you where everyone is, where important stuff is. I, I feel like this game is really well made. We unlocked Master Roshi. Unlocked a whole lot of uh, points. Gohan Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. That's awesome. By the way, I think this episode will be a little bit longer. Like, we're not talking two hours, but maybe an hour or so. Because I just love it. Dragon Ball Hunt. Collect all items, gather them around, or steal them by KOing. So it's basically the J-Symbol match, but since we are in the Dragon Ball Galaxy, it's just the Dragon Balls. That makes sense, doesn't it? Ooh, Frieza. I think I never had Frieza either. Oh, damn it. Vegeta, stop that. Okay. So, one of them has three, the other one has one, we got the last one, sure. Now, if we KO them, we get the Dragon Balls. So, of course, we want to try and KO the enemy. That kind of goes without saying. Ah, Luffy is so strong, it's amazing. Also, he can throw enemies around like a shit ton. Oh, damn. Also, he is great at destroying... Uh, Manga panels, like the walls. Okay, wait, I got... Oh, there's one up there. I got five now. We win if we have the most, but of course we want to try and get all of them. I mean, I think that that much goes without saying. By the way, let's use Goku. Let's use Goku again, which also costs one spirit point. As you can see, like above Luffy's head, or like upper left, where my health bar is, it, there's a little blue three, which means we have three spirit points, which means we can do three special attacks. Wait. Vegeta loses the last two Dragon Balls that he had. Ah, damn it. Thing is, the AI in this game is not the greatest, not the worst. But things like, hey, uh, you want to get this item, they just... Do it as an aside. So sometimes you just win because the enemy is too stupid to pick up uh, to pick up the stuff that they should be picking up. Let's kill Vegeta, and if he dies, if he dies, we get a Dragon Ball. Damn it! It fell down, so it will reappear somewhere around here, and we got it. <laughs> See, it's just if you know where to go, if you know what to do, oh, never get KO'd. Got Bulma and we got some stuff. If you just never get KO'd, it's always easier. Alright, technically we are done with the Dragon Ball Galaxy because we won all of these. There doesn't have to be four or more. But the thing is, we now have five out of five goals, three out of five goals, two out of five goals. So we can still go and basically. Wait, can we? Yeah! Okay, I don't have to go all the way out, of course. Uh, you can just farm the rest of the goals. Alright. Um, let's see. Gohan Super Saiyan. We could... Make him a character. Trunks doesn't have a character thing. He's only a support. That sucks. Master Roshi? I don't think that that is a playable character. Well, let's see. Nope. It's just manga for Dragon Ball unlocked. Nah. What is that? A health... No, just unlocking stuff for... Ah, damn it. <laughs> Feels like I basically gave out a bit too much there. Okay, Naruto... No, I kind of want to upgrade Luffy a little bit. Because he has some different variations where he has different attacks. But, like I said, I want Ellen. And I think... Wait, Akuma are so... Lemon, to re I don't, I don't, I can't read that. I don't think this is the one that I like the most. Like I, I know. Maybe this is. You can continue living for your reason. Oh, one of those. I or no, I think it was this one. Yeah, yeah, this is the one that I used. Again, they have slightly different uh, attacks most of the time. Can I also upgrade her? No, I cannot. Too bad. Too bad. Thing is, I don't think you can like choose which color gems you get in order to uh, unlock specific stuff. But whatever, let's go into the deck building. Let's start a whole new deck. 
Uh, we're gonna call it this, that, and something like this. This name is fine, no idea what it means. I hope it's nothing offensive. Now, as you can see, it's, there's so much explaining in this video, but it's just, this is a game I'm so passionate about because it's so good. Um, this one takes the space of four panels. This one, five in this exact shape. You cannot rotate it or whatever. This one, six. And I mean, it says it here as well. Uh, so if you choose this character, you have to basically work around him to like use, oops, use other characters and stuff. Like Naruto, sure, we can do that. We can technically also get Muhio in, but I think we'll stick with Luffy as well. And now all that's left is... You know what? Let's uh, yeah, put, put Muyo in for now, like just as a helper. But what I'm gonna do now is... Uh, oh. Cancel. We wanna go down. Yeah. You have to select one of them as the leader. The one that you start with. And then you can assign L and R to different characters or abilities. Let's go with Goku again. Now, there are a few things you need to know by, by with making a deck. First of all, you need one of each type. By that I mean one red, which is a playable character, one blue, which is a support character, uh, like a um, activatable support character, and one green, which is just a little thing that doesn't do anything. You need one of those three at all times, and other than that, you just fill it up until you have enough. Now, I want, like, who has... I think Itoki has some cool helper character things. Damn it. It's just the wrong shape. That sucks. I need someone who's like Goku sideways. Know what I mean? Does it make sense? Does anything that I say make sense? I hope it does. Please, please, yes. Maybe even a three panel thing. I don't know if the three panels are strong or whatever. I did it because you're my friend, why else? Ah. <laughs> yeah, classic. <laughs> okay. If you don't know what, I'm, what I just did and why I did it, just give me a second, okay? Just give me a second. Recheck this one, I think this was, yeah. <laughs> this game is so much guesswork for me. <laughs> I. I Every single time. Yeah. Oh! It's a physical duty. So sometimes they talk to each other because they're from the same manga, and I, I really like that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Now we have to support characters on L and R. And if I wanna switch to a uh, main character, I'm just gonna just gonna click on it. Which again on a DS is way way easier than when you're holding a controller and have to basically jump to your mouse. I want to do the Dragon Ball hunt again, just clear within 40 seconds. We can do that. Alright. Now, Ellen is... Damn it! Oh, uh, no. Get as many as I can right about now. I know there is one left up there. And then start KOing them. If they get KO'd... Yeah. If they get KO'd do, uh, while they're on screen, damn it! Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I love this. This is the other reason why I love this. These abilities in different different versions of him have just way different abilities. Okay, defeated him, and we won. <laughs> what I wanted to say is, uh, oh, we got everything. That's so good. Krillin, Piccolo. Ooh, and that. Of course, I had Piccolo. I think. <laughs> But if you KO someone holding a Dragon Ball in this case, or a J symbol or whatever, and they're on screen, like if you just KO them, the item flies out of them and lands right next to them, you, whatever. If you KO them by throwing them out of the screen, then the item respawns somewhere else. Um, let's go... we haven't done anything in the adventure. Uh, let's go with Hunter x Hunter. I know many people love it. I found it weird? 
Like, interesting weird, but on the other hand, sometimes really not. Like, it, it was... It's a weird one for me. I liked it. I would never rank it as highly as many people do. Again, I still liked it. Okay. Clear the stage. And, like I said before, um, it's usually, like, the other... Uh, the other goals are usually something like uh, clear within a time limit. Okay, damn it. By the way, we got Goku and we got Lena Lee. Oh wow, that was really bad, but like this it works. Okay, you know what? Screw you guys. You know what? Screw you, okay? Go down there. Go down there, gone. Ah, uh, wrong direction. Whatever. Eh. Okay. I mean, there is blocking in this game. There is also a thing where you can completely negate the block of someone with joke attacks or something like that, but it's a weird thing that I rarely do because I think if you played against other people, it would be a good thing, but if you just play against the AI, you really don't need it. Okay, uh, I mean, we definitely won. There is no way for them to get many, many points in the next five seconds. Screw you. I love how, how far it just throws them. Wait, we can get another point here? Please. Damn it. It's it's a DS, so it's not as... as... Oh, wow. Oh, we just got everything. We got gone, we got points, we got points, we got points, we got Kilua. <laughs> Clear the stage, sure. Enemy must not earn three points, sure. Enemy must not earn, uh, earn two points, sure. Finish with at least three points, sure. Finish with at least four points, sure. We destroyed. We destroyed. I'm not gonna take a look at all the characters at all times. Just when we get a new one, I just wanna go through, get a few characters, upgrade a few of them. Especially those that I know have, like, playable versions. Because, again, not every character. <laughs> I just love abilities that shove enemies out of... <gasps> Is that Frankie? Oh, yeah, that's Frankie. I don't think I've ever unlocked Frankie. Thing is, some characters are so damn hard to unlock. Because they are, like, in hard battles and you have to do weird things. Oh, wrong button. Like, hey, never get KO'd in a in a match where it's like they are just barraging you. Wait, if I hit him with this and he... Yeah, he's dead. There's no way he comes back from being shot out over there. That's what I mean with you can cheese some of the fights, no problem. Krapika unlocked. Points, points, points. Now, let's just see what the last one would be. Make two special attack KOs. Eh... Wall breaker. Destroy all stage walls within the time limit. Oh yeah, this is just... Oh, you, you get this deck, you do it, that's it. No enemies, no nothing. Okay, who is the best attack for this? I don't remember. And the thing is, we have to destroy all the walls. Some characters are best better in aerial combat than others. Wait, um... Do we have a... Okay. Okay, I, I, I just need range. Wow, that was bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kilua is good at this. Because he can attack two walls at once. I mean, we have five minutes, so it's, it's definitely not the greatest thing in this game. Like, definitely not. But it's just... It's a fun way to just put in some, like, mini-games. Oh, wait. Um... If we just go with this? Nope. This, I mean? Yeah. Uh, oh, we can hit it from here. That's great. Wasn't sure about that. So, let's just... Do this. This one is easy as well. No problem there. Yeah, there, there's basically... It, it's, it's very hard to screw these up. Because usually the time limit is not really that. Like, the time limit is quite forgiving. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do this again. I know it's a bit... You know what? Oh. Of course, your 
special attacks are stronger. By the way, what's this? Oh! Increased damage! Good to know! So his up special is not just is not just a uh, a strong attack, it's just an attack that makes him stronger. Yeah, let's switch to Kilua again. What button was it? This one. Yeah, and we did it. Eh. We unlocked some stuff. Great. Just want to see what the last goal would be. I'm not going to do it now, but yeah, clear within one minute. Okay, that makes sense. I don't care for these two right now. I just want to go into Black Cat, which I read at some point after basically finding out or hearing about it in this game. It looked interesting enough. I don't remember too much about it. I just remember it was it was good. Like it's not one that that I can't forget. I just I know I read it and I know a few details here and there, but it was good. I liked it. Can recommend, I think. <laughs> would have to read it again in order to know if I really would recommend it. Oh, was, wasn't the girl, like the blonde girl there, she might have been one of my favorites uh, in this game. I remember her sprite and I'm not sure if I remember her because she was annoying to play against or because I really liked playing as her. You know what? Get Rin Elite! And this attack by Luffy, it's like a his, ah, his special combo basically. Wait, there it is, there it is. His special combo. This is all one attack. And with this, it's so easy to just throw people out of there. Because it usually destroys a complete wall. And we, I, damn. We even got the special, don't get hit by a special. Okay, now I want to see something. I want to go into the coma menu, which is the character menu basically. And first of all, Lena Lee. Yes. Uh, I think this was one of my favorites. Like, I think both of them were really good. And some of them don't really have too many differences, so it's mostly just try out a few things, play a few of them, and especially if you find one that, that you like playing, see if it fits in your deck. Now, what I also want to do is, first of all, Train was also interesting, I think, but I want to get Luffy. Please be what I want. Damn it! This is the special one, right? Yeah! Luffy, Afro Power. If you don't know what I mean by Afro Power, you clearly haven't watched uh, One Piece <laughs> or read it. Um, let's go with Train. We do have quite a lot of, uh, of points to unlock stuff. Again, not gonna go through everything. This one was, I think, a pretty strong one go with Eve because again I think I liked playing her. That's a lot. These two. That one might not be a character. Yeah. This one is just a stage. So some of them, in this case, why I knew that it wasn't a character, she requires red. Requires red and this one doesn't require red. Usually if the cost completely changes, it's something different. That's something that I just picked up over the years by just playing a lot. Because this is one of my go-to games to just play it every now and then. I just love it. Uh, we unlocked Lena Lee. Who else do we want to try and unlock? You know what? Gohan. People like Gohan. And we don't have enough gems because the white ones are missing. Ah, that sucks. I think you need the white gems for pretty much everyone or most of them. Still, let's unlock some helper characters. Okay. Now we're gonna go into deck building again. Nope, wrong. Again, it's just memorization and guessing most of the time. Okay, there is also a button to completely just uh, delete the deck, delete everything in the deck. But I 
once again, don't know what it is, so whatever. <laughs> Alright, uh, Kintoki, sure, but no, we want Lena Lee. And I want Train. Did I unlock a different... Oh yeah, I also unlocked... Oh, I unlocked, I unlocked so many, so many characters right now. Um, let's go with this one. Let's go with Train. I think we're gonna take out uh, Alan just because we already played with him. Yeah, I don't know about Train right now, but I want Afro Luffy. This one is a big one, he needs six panels. That sucks. But I just, I, I remember him being really, really fun. Maybe I'm misremembering, that's always a possibility. Uh, let's put Train in there. And uh, we need at least one helper, like Goku. Piccolo, sure. I haven't used Piccolo, so why not? And do we have someone else than Goku? Lena Lee, but we have her as a main character, and Gintoki, but he is... Uh, you know what I mean? Not vertical, but... Hor no, vertical, not horizontal. That's it. So let's use Goku as well. Uh, Lita will be... Ah, uh, Lita will be Lena Lee. L will be... This thing. Let's use them as the characters like this. Okay, again, I know there's quite a lot of menu in this game, but it's just it's usually it's, it's overall quite simple. I feel like coins chaser break the treasure box, pick up the most to win. I don't like that one that much, but hey, don't really care. Like there are coins in all the boxes, you just run around and try. Wow, well, I completely screwed up by jumping that high. You just run around, destroy as much as you can, get as many coins as you can. Which means that we won't really see uh, the attacks of the characters here, because it's really not that big of a deal to fight if you just run around most of the time. Yes, if you knock them out, they don't get to run around and collect coins for a while. Ah, oh, yeah, the combo. Wait. Come here. Come here. Train, come here. But then again, I just want to get more coins because we're at 29 and I bet we get something if we win by over 30. Let's see. See with 10 or more, 20 or more, or 30 or more. Awesome, that's a whole lot of points. Or uh, stuff. What else would we have to do? Stay first for the whole match. I don't care about that. So, technically we're done with Black Cat and Hunter x Hunter because we've won all the missions or all the battles, but we haven't done all the missions. You don't have to do all the missions, you just have to finish each battle or win each battle. God damn it, time flies. It's already 43 minutes. Kinda sucks, I wanna play more. <laughs> okay, it's a classic KO match. Now let's see these characters in action. This time for real. Okay, Luffy, come here. I'm gonna kick you. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh yeah, that thing just moves. Uh, as soon as someone stands on it, damn it, it moves down. So once again, not the greatest, <laughs> not the greatest map to actually take a look at characters' abilities. I jumped upwards into an already, into a uh, thing that was already done. Explosion. That's what I mean. Okay, wait. Uh, special ability. Special ability. Yeah. Upper power. <laughs> <laughs> It's. I think it's just those two attacks and the rest is completely the same, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think the rest is completely the same. 
but the special attacks are just different. And they are strong as huh? hell. Whoa. Okay, um, also switch to her because I can't remember for the life of me. Oh yeah, she attacks with her hair, of course. Hair and wings, because of course she does. I mean, okay, we won, that's, that's it. Zoro and a bunch of points. We could try and go for the other two missions, but they only give us, only give us the points that we use for the, the currency. Let's call it a currency. Jason will match. Sure. I think, like, this game... <laughs> I don't think that I could, like, make a... Ouch. Like, I don't think I could make a long series out of it by playing it again and again. Although I would absolutely love to do it. Oh, let's do this again. She's just so cool. Damn it. Leave me alone. Okay, okay, okay. What was the other ability? Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> That's a bit hard to land. Because it goes straight up and down. You come over here. You get kicked in the face. But yeah, her combos are incredible. Problem is, she's a bit frail. Let's call it frail. <laughs> Afro power, Rafi. Or Luffy. And as you can see, like, he is incredible at just destroying walls. And just, he's a, he is bullying people. In this game, he is just, he, he's just the best for bullying people. Okay, give me that. And it will appear here. I got it. And we got everything again. Koma Sanji. Oh, Sanji. Oh, Sanji. We unlocked Sanji. <laughs> this is... Like, I know many, many... Sorry that I'm switching around so much. I know many, many, many characters in this game. But again, I have not... Uh, n not nearly got all of them. And as I, as I keep saying, not every one of these characters is actually a playable character. Is the thing. So it's a bit weird and a little bit of like trial and error which one is actually a character which one is actually good which one do you actually like <laughs> i don't know what that was okay that's just background music but this one is definitely a fighter and let's do this one as well because why not all right zoro sure He's cool. Everybody loves him. Everybody loves those two. <laughs> uh, who the hell is Sven? You are not a playable character, so I don't really care. I guess I should also unlock some of the support characters and stuff like that. And also, there are some special characters that unlock more options for other characters. Was Bulma one of them? No, Helper Bulma is unlocked. I, there's, like, let's say, I, I, I was almost sure it was Bulma was one of them. Uh, or let's say you unlocked everything with Gon, like all of his, a bit, uh, all of his unlockables. And then, like, with Biscuit, if you unlock something with her, suddenly you get another option for Gon. Like, I know there are some of those characters. Not a whole lot, but some are. Are you a playable character? No, right? You're not. You are just a helper. Yeah, Solar Flare. Uh, I like Krillin. Even though he's useless in many, many ways. Or in many, many stories of Dragon Ball. Okay. This one, let's delete it. No, okay. Um... Let's delete it. Yeah! Okay, the second to last is deleting. That's good to know. Um, damn it. Again, I don't really want to keep building new decks or just be in the menu that much, but there are so many characters. It's amazing. Uh, first of all, Sanji. I th think this one was... Like, all of them are good, but I think this one was the one with the most... Text that I liked. Okay, you know what? Let's build a 
one piece deck. Like, if I do this, yeah, I can now go to... Like, one piece is playable characters. I can now go to... It was Ellen, right? Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Krillin up here? And I think Ellen had a vertical one that was too high, right? Right? Yeah. Oh, Kintoki. It was not Ellen. Um, first of all, leader. I mean, we only have one leader, right? Then these two. And then we just have to place two green ones like Ellen. Sure. You... No, wait. You... You support Zoro in some way, and later Lee is gonna support Sanji in some way or another. I just... I would love to have this game as a uh, treasure hunt. That's just break the treasure box, pick up the most to win. Ah, oh, that again. I would love to have a localization of this game. Like, I would love to have this... to, to buy this game. I mean, I could import it from Japan, but yeah. Uh... Because I feel like this game is so good. And they could make it even better. But they... I mean, I, I, I get it. I get why they... Oh, that's the golden ball from Any... Uh, no, not Anis Lobby. Uh, anal. Against Anal. Anal, Anal... <laughs> it's not Anal, but... Uh, whatever. Anaru... Can't remember what his, like... Official name was. I just remember One Piece, like many, many names of One Piece from watching it in German. And reading it, I read it as... Yeah, I read the English translation, so not all the names are correct there. Uh, did I you? Oh, the trash can was in Tokyo. Interesting. Yeah, okay, we won some stuff. Let's jump into a different... Yeah, we done all... All of the Adventure Galaxy, let's jump into Saint Seiya. This is a manga that I am only familiar, like, through this game and by, like, seeing it every now and then, but I've never, ever read it, watched the anime, played any of the games. I just know about it, is basically the thing. Point match, yeah, that's good. Because I haven't used any of the other two in this fight. I just ran around as Luffy because it was just the easiest to do. Okay, first of all, again, Luffy is there to bully people, which is not really Luffy's MO. Oh yeah, that that is an amazing uh, skill combination. Problem is, if you don't... Oh no, stop it. If you don't hit it, it just takes very long for you to recover, basically. So, the up... Oh, yeah, that's the up special. And... Oh, no, 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 oh, no, I... Yeah, I forgot. I remembered just when I used it that... There are some characters with actual, like, suicide. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a counter, basically. Damn it. It's so hard to use in this game because people just don't... Damn it. He was basically edge guarding me. <laughs> Luffy is, in my opinion, the best character in this game. Like, no matter which version of Luffy, he's just the easiest to play. He is incredibly strong either way. Like, no matter which one. Just so you cannot go wrong with Luffy. I think Seiya was also quite interesting as a fighter. I'm gonna see if we can unlock Again, the whole menu thing is a bit... Yeah. It, it's a bit... Not worrisome, no. What was the word I'm looking for? Tedious. I don't know how I went to worrisome, but whatever. Uh, let's use... Switch this out again and go with Seiya here. Bam. Just to try it out. Do we have anyone else we want to try that we haven't used yet? Sanji, different Sanji versions. Zoro, but we've tried him before. Muhio, I don't like him. In the, like, he's okay, but I just... Oh, Train! We haven't used Train. 
I could, but I would have to do too much work around there. Yeah, like I said, I cannot show you nearly all of the characters. Like, there are so many that we haven't used yet. Sagittarius armor. Pick it up, pick up the target and don't lose it. Being KO'd means drop the target. So you want... Oh, okay. We have to use a specific deck. I'm okay with that. We have to get the armor and if we get KO'd, we lose it. If someone else has it, same thing. We just have to KO them. Oh, wow. I'm almost died. Okay, what do you do? Oh, yeah. Good attack. Okay. Why did we already win? We won in 11 seconds. Oh, maybe if I have it for 10 seconds, then we're done. Maybe. Okay, I don't want to do wall breaker now. We're going to go with this one. Something, something blues. This one, I like. I only know from this game and that's pretty much all there is to it. I have no idea about it. Probably is about boxing. I would guess. Deathmatch, if you lose someone, they are defeated, so you just have to at least stay alive with one character. Or stay alive with at least one character. Damn it, we're almost at the hour mark. Again, I want to keep going, but on the other hand, I just... I don't really want to do it, like, go for more than an hour. Okay, um... Goku, go out, damn it. Okay, Seiya, what are your special attacks? Okay, it's a one-two punch, got it, and an uppercut. Sure you can! Wow. <laughs> Some of the attacks are so hard to hit, it's incredible. I'm sorry that I'm going back to Luffy again, it's just... The other ones right now didn't feel like I was doing too much. Okay. Ah. Some attacks are fast, some attacks are so damn slow, it's just... This game has a lot of, like, diversity <laughs> in its cast, basically. But this is a game you can play for so long. Just get all the missions, get all the characters, get enough points to get the characters. Because once you're done with all the missions, I think, all that's left, if you want more points to unlock everything, is to just fight and get the bonus that you get anyway. Because you get some of the points and the, um, how do we call it? Uh, what? let's use those guys again. So of the currency you get either way after a fight, like every time. Okay, what was what was this again? Was it just a death match? Was it just a treasure hunt? I don't really remember. Nope, not a treasure hunt. So was it just a points match? I don't remember what this one was. Let's just fight and that's it. Okay, boom. Let's switch to Zoro because he had the least screen time so far of these guys. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, that's yeah, just a regular points match. Love it. Okay, I wanna... Come on, someone hit me! Wait, is that a counter? Or am I doing something completely wrong? Okay, it was either... Damn it! It either was a counter, or I just reactivated it again. I'm not sure. Wait. I don't know. I really do not know. But let's switch to Sanji because Zoro is getting low on health. You come back here, damn it. <laughs> we still won, but whatever. Clear with two or more points. Make a special attack KO. Great. Got some characters. Again, no idea who they are. Wait. How many galaxies do we... Ah, there are still two missing here. Damn it. I can't show you the next galaxies. I mean, I can. You know what? I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna do at least the required fights for the galaxies that we have. Just so that you see what happens then. See you in a second. Alright. I should have done everything now. Yeah. Which means now we can go to Planet Wrestle, which is... Home of the manga Muscle Man. Uh, 
Like sometimes you unlock one galaxy, sometimes you unlock three, just like we had before. Sometimes you go into a warp, like a wormhole to a different part and then unlock different galaxies. It's just... It's just so interesting. I love it. <laughs> I hope you found it interesting too. I'm just gonna end with this one fight. And we're just gonna... Fuck some people up as... Wait, I think this was my favorite of hers. Yeah, this was it. What was the up attack? Okay. Similar, but not the same. And Train hits people with his gun, because that's what you got guns for. And I think he had something... Oh, yeah. And what is that? Okay, that's just a whirlwind pistol whip. Love it. Yeah, he's, he's pretty alright to play with like to play as sorry <laughs> I he's like a generally decent character in my opinion or at least it's just for some reason I can't really hit with this pistol whip but Lina Lee or Rina Lee whatever one of my favorite characters in this game because she's just so agile mobile I think wait doesn't she have a triple jump one two three yeah she has a triple jump while most others only have a double only this one is just easy to hit. I just... Yeah. Damn it. Come on. Stop running. Okay. We KO'd at least once. Which means we win with at least one point. Damn. We even got a special. Never get KO'd. It was that easy. We almost never KO'd the, en uh, the enemy. Oh, whatever. We are at an hour already. I... Love this game. I'm sorry if I was all over the place with explaining it all. I'm sorry if you don't understand everything. It's just, I love this game. I wanted to show it off. Again, this is like the only playable version if you don't speak Japanese. Uh, or read Japanese. It's just so good. I just love it. On the DS it's even better because it's just easier to play. And... Again, it's it's cool that they kept going because, of course, Shonen Jump is just so big that they just can keep going and put out new games. But they never made a game like this again. And that's a shame. I would highly re recommend you checking this game out if you can. And now playing it again, I think I have to stream it sometime in the future. I think I'll have to make a stream with this game. I just love it. Tell me in, in the comments what you thought about it. Also, since this is the final episode of December for this year, I just want to say thanks for everyone who watched some or even maybe all of the episodes. Thank you for still sticking around. If you are still here at the end of this, thank you for watching over an hour of me just jumping around as <laughs> J-Star jumps our characters. Just, I just love it. By the way, um... There are, like, what else do I remember? There is, like, uh, Rurouni Kenshin, um, Assassination Classroom, if I remember correctly. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Yugi and Kaiba are playable characters in this, but I don't think that I've ever unlocked them. Uh, what else? Who else? I, I tried to think who I liked playing as, but I don't remember a whole lot right now. That's too bad. Uh, this uh, Katya Kiyoshi Hitman Reborn is in this. It's just so many, like, um, so I think Prince of Tennis or something like that. Uh, at least one of the big basketball mangas that I've never read, so sorry. Like, I know there's a sports galaxy with at least three different sports, like tennis, basketball, and... Is it soccer? No. Maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway, there is so much more to see in this game. It's, it's so good, and I just love that they have just different battle styles. It's Yes, it's overall quite repetitive, but it's just always with different, different maps, different characters. I just love it so much. But I really need to stop this video now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus, and I gotta run. Bye-bye.